What's up? Today I finally received the CPU replacement. Came back pretty well. It's used, but it's pulled from a working laptop. Let's install it and check how system will run. I wasn't able to install him from the first time. I don't know how the CPU was pulled, but some pins are bended. As you can see, um, right here. The camera cannot detect it, but this pin, which is located right here, is bended. It was incorrectly pulled out from the slot of the motherboard, this one. You can see it from here. I will use a screwdriver and will align him properly before I will install it into the socket of the motherboard. Alright, it's well done. Applying some IC Karat Diamond 7 thermal compound. It's very important. It's not a Pentium and those CPU easily can burn if something is, is wrong, overheating issues. And as I noticed before, this laptop have no video issue, but I decided not to do a reflow or a reboiling yet, because I believe that in this case, no video issue is caused by faulty CPU, which is here, not the GPU, which is right here. It's ATI, they usually do not burn, it's basically doing pretty much the same as soon as I power him off by holding the power button. I tried this trick that was suggested is to disconnect, to remove the battery, to remove the outlet AC connection and um, just to power him on. As soon as I power him on, um, it's spinning just a little bit, you can see. Hard drive started and then spinning like this. There is no on a full power. There is a, no signs of any HDD activity. The system doesn't boot. I believe that it's not a faulty GPU unit because if you have a faulty GPU unit, you will have some activity and you will be able, for example, to plug it to external VGA monitor and you will be able to see the image. But I doubt that there is any need in doing it, because I don't see no activity at all. So I think that the CPU, which I received it today, is the same faulty CPU. Or I have to try replacing RAM models. Because if you have a faulty RAM model or faulty CPU, you will get pretty much the same. However, uh, trying to re replace the RAM models and disconnecting power and started running doing pretty much the same with or without model and then start spinning very fast currently the RAM model is installed as you can see if I will remove the RAM model it's doing the same I will demonstrate. The RAM model is removed. No RAM models installed. If I will start him up, it will spin a little bit, then full power. As you can see, it's not a video issue. That's why I do not attempt reflow or reboiling already working GPU. This is for sure faulty RAM model or CPU unit or CPU chipset the processor I install the battery the system can easily analyze that battery is charging as you can see right now we have one more indicator as soon as we plug to um, AC outlet it turns orange the battery is charging let's try and besides it i also install one more model i have like a bunch of them more than six different i installed 
one more model into the instead of the upper slot I insert it to the lower slot maybe the slot is defective if the CPU is okay uh, let's give it a try and turn the system on still the same system powers on nothing on screen no HDD activity system doesn't boot it's for sure a faulty CPU unit not GPU and also on some forums I read that it's possible to give it a try to fully reset it to disconnect it from the power and then hold the power button for 30 seconds it will discharge the system completely and then to try to run it only using the battery without AC power AC outlet let's give it a try it's already 15 seconds elapsed let's wait till 30 seconds holding the button right now as you can see not releasing it 20 seconds 21 22 it's almost 25 5 seconds more all right all power is gone let's power it on only on battery the same nothing doesn't happen fans spinning on a full power no activity faulty CPU I will need to reorder one more CPU for this Toshiba laptop the seller who sold me this CPU saying that it was pulled from working laptop I recently contacted him today and he fully confirms that this CPU is fully operational I don't get how it's fully operational if I replaced RAM models all of them and still the same seller also saying that could be it's also the whole motherboard which is bad or have a short circuit somewhere or corroded well I do not believe in this it's always the same spinning a little bit and then spinning the full strength and you don't see nothing on screen even can hold it like this because of the gravity doesn't even fall down like a v-shape and you do not see nothing on the screen Today I ordered another CPU, we'll wait when I will receive it and replace it. The CPU that I ordered today is brand new, I got a good deal for as low as 12 bucks free shipping. Let's wait well when new CPU will arrive. I personally inspected the whole motherboard for the, sign, for the signs of corrosion short circuit i don't see any droplets of solder nowhere as well as corrosion and this laptop did, did not get any spill liquid spill no water damage nothing that's why i believe that thermal compound on a cpu unit became totally dry and that's why cpu overheated and got corrupted this is the reason why this toshiba laptop do not have video on it Today I finally received the new CPU for this Toshiba. It's a brand new CPU, it's not used. Let's unpack it and install to this Toshiba and we will check how it will start. I'm pretty much sure 99.1 with that with new CPU we will get the video back and all system will be operational. Motherboard is removed again. Let's remove the heatsink and then install the new processor we just came today this processor is removed which is faulty i bought him used 
This is brand new. Let's remove from the packing. Attention, observe precaution for handling electrostatic sensitive device. Motion from the packing. This one is AMD Turion Ultra processor, as you can see right here. None of the pins are not bended. It's ready for installation. Let's install him. Extent installation went pretty smoothly. None of his legs are not bended. Let's lock the socket using the flat screwdriver. The socket is locked. Let's apply some thermal compound and install the CPU heatsink. Basically, it's already processor number three. The first one I was trying, it was AMD Turion. It was a stock processor. Uh, with this one, it stopped working when the owner gave it to me. Then I get one more processor. It was AMD Turion as well. One of my co-workers gave it to me to try. Ah, oh, hold on, no, actually. This one I ordered from eBay. And it did not work as well. And this processor was brand new, which I ordered from eBay. Let's apply the thermal compound and install the heatsink. Let's install the motherboard into the body of the laptop with the new processor, with the heatsink, and give it a try. Alright, let's cross the fingers, because this is already processor number 4 I'm trying, and this processor is brand new. So, let's see. The same. There is nothing on the screen. So what else it could be? The CPU requires reboiling. Or maybe I will need to try to install different RAM models. Maybe this will help. Let's try. Maybe the one of those. Besides CPU, it also could be false RAM model and system will have nothing on screen as well. Let's give it a try and replace the RAM model. Basically today this is the laptop that I'm currently fixing and this is one more. This one have pretty much the same problem. This laptop is gateway but it have the same processor which is made by AMD and it have the same video chip. Since Maybe it's not a processor issue. Today we will find out. We will be injecting under the chip this Kessler 951 flux. And we will be using the heat gun to reboil the video chip. But before we would like to uh, just replace the processor on this machine. And maybe it will get the video on. We will be checking it right now.